All right, so we're in a battle with some bandits. Now, before we begin the episode, I just want to say thank you to the mod creator for all kinds of wonderful information that they left on the previous episode. If you also want to see that, then there is, uh, well, you can just go and you know, you can just go and click on the first episode because it's in a pinned comment. I pinned it so that everyone can uh, benefit from the information there because it is extremely useful. And I've actually taken advantage of one of the tips, which is to recruit the uh, sort of more advanced units from the towns for 2,000. So basically, I spent 2,000 just now to get 20 units, and these guys are going to be really, really nice. Now, what I'm also doing is I am utilizing the phalanx and i am going to be attempting to do that so as you can see look these guys wait a minute <laughs> these guys yes these fellows right here they are beasts as you can no doubt tell <laughs> and uh <laughs> elias is not <laughs> elias is not looking like such a beast let's just say that is he no he's looking like quite a uh quite a quite a person that doesn't really know what he's doing it, it kind of feels like uh, one of those one of those uh, spoof movies, you know, you know, because you know when 300 came out and then a whole bunch of other movies that were basically like B-movie sort of spoof-ish kind of movies came out. This is basically one of, one of the characters from from those ones. So yeah, I, I can't remember any of the names of them. I didn't even see them, but I just remember that <laughs> they were they were uh, spoofing the whole thing. I think it's, uh, what was it now? Meet the Spartans or something? I think it was Meet the Spartans or something like that. I don't know. But whatever the case, I will attempt to use my amazing forces now. And uh, what we're going to do after this is I will be attempting to find some more of these very, very good units to hopefully, um, hopefully help me out, hopefully join my army. And uh, we will, all, of course, be attempting to take as many of them prisoner as possible. And who knows, if we end up losing, and I mean, I'm, I'm talking about total defeat here, then I would probably be wanting to enlist at that point. I think enlisting is probably going to be a pretty significant option because let's face it if i lose everything and i'm talking about everything here you know use losing all my units losing maybe my weapon and maybe not having a huge amount of money at that point either mainly because i would have spent it all mostly on advanced units and things like that so i have to be a bit care careful you know about walking around and making sure that i don't get myself killed by uh, yes don't get myself killed by these guys for example but also making sure that I don't get myself killed by some advanced vassal somewhere or another. Because you never know. Maybe I'm going to be joining a faction relatively soon. I would like to be able to join the Sparta faction, if at all possible. So we'll see if maybe I can make that work. But as it stands, I'm not entirely sure at the moment. And no, oh, my shield is gone. Should I tell my people to charge in? Yeah, let's tell my people to charge in, even though the shield wall formation has allowed them to get extremely close to the enemy. And now hopefully I'll be able to get some experience here. Oh, I really, I'm not very good with the, uh, with the shield spear attacks. So I'm just going to switch to two-handed for the moment. Hopefully I'm not going to get killed by this guy. Thank you. Yep, come on. Yeah, they're, ooh, nice. Oh, that was a nice hit. Yes, some good hits right there. Maybe we could do some more damage here as well. Take him down, take him down. Yes, everyone's dead. Fantastic. Very nice indeed. These guys are crazy good. I hope I didn't lose any of them. No, I didn't lose any of them at all. I wouldn't expect to lose any of them anyway, but there you go. Okay, so we do actually get an opportunity to hire some farmers and peasant women. I don't know whether I really want to do this. I'm actually just going to hire them. And uh, then we'll see if they level up into anything, actually. Let's see. Do, do they? No, it doesn't seem like they level up into anything. So basically pointless to take those guys at the moment. But it's okay, because we can probably just let them go. And they'll just have a grand old time in some tavern or somewhere else. So let's have a look here. These guys are leveling up. Ooh, nice. We actually have a couple more of these, even though they're, they're not great in comparison to these guys, obviously. But, uh, well... It's nice to have those available to us anyway. So I have now 1100 weekly cost, which is kind of significant. And look at this. I can already recruit more local... Uh, actually, maybe not. 
I think I might need to wait a little bit of time for me to be able to do that. But the point is, is that if you wait a little bit of time, then you will be able to recruit from the same town and be able to get some additional units from there, which is really, really nice. So I'm actually thinking, should I go and try and do another tournament? Because I think a tournament is going to be my main method of making money at the moment, with the exception of fighting bandits, of course. But obviously, whenever you fight bandits, there's always that opportunity for defeat in some way or another. So maybe it would not be the best idea. But uh, well, let's just have a look here and see whether anything is relatively close by. All right, so let's have a look. Uh... No, I don't think there is actually anything close by. I think maybe is there a is there a tournament going on here? Uh there I mean that's the thing. There are a lot of towns in this mod and I can never really remember all of the names because they are all very very uh well, not familiar, shall we say. They're not familiar to me at all. So anyway, I guess we'll just head onward and maybe if we find some additional units we will be able to fight them. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we can get some of these from here as well. Mm, you know, I might want to go in and speak to the... Oh, hello. Ooh. Ooh, yes, hello. They have some pretty decent prisoners that I would like to be able to rescue, maybe? Uh, mm -mm, not entirely sure if we'll be able to do it, but we're going to try. Uh, can, am, I, am I faster? I think I am faster. Yes, I am faster by 0.2. That is wonderful. There we go. All right, so what I'm going to do also is we're obviously just going to start, you know, hold in, uh, in this position. And, oh, it's nighttime. Oh, I am absolutely terrible in nighttime. Well, hopefully you can see relatively well. Because I can't. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding. Anyway. Hopefully we will be able to do a decent job here because obviously I don't know what these units are like. These are not the standard bandits that we have come to know, but maybe they're just a slightly more advanced version of the bandits that we just fought. So who knows, maybe that is going to be a bit of a problem, but we'll see. They seem to have thrown weapons, but I don't think we need to worry too much, with the exception of, yes, our uh, Periakos guys. They need to be very worried indeed, because they don't have shields, which is unfortunate, but I can't really do much about that. And we are in Shield Wall, which is literally the greatest thing that we can get into, so that our enemies' ranged attacks will not be effective in the least. I guess we'll just attack. <laughs> oh, this is, this is going to be cool. Okay, this is gonna be really cool. Uh, is it? Is it though? Is it? Is it gonna be cool? Because I don't really want to die, so let's just poke them in the back. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Kill him. There we go. Kill that guy as well, if I can. No, don't die now, Elias. I would appreciate it. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell everyone to charge in now, because these guys are obviously running, and we want to be able to catch them as quickly as possible. I really wish Elias had more athletic skill. Ah, oh, and I really wish I had some ranged weapons of some kind now. So, yeah, I'm probably going to be deciding on a ranged weapon. I know that I have specced a little bit into archery proficiency as a secondary, and I'm thinking that might actually be a good idea because it's usually a pretty stable choice for a secondary backup weapon. And if I'm going to be using a polearm for the most part, which I think I probably am going to be because, let's face it, the mod is fantastic in its polearm combat. The mod creator has done a fantastic job with the polearm combat. It's just... I can't, I can't sing its praises more because it's just so incredibly enjoyable to do. And usually, you know, I'm going to say, yeah, you know, pole arms, not my favorite thing ever. But in this mod, I'm actually kind of looking forward to using these pole arms to fight. And that's a rarity. That is a rarity. Ooh, I got a hat. Very nice indeed. I got a hat. Very good. All right. So that's obviously going to help me out a little bit. And let's move on. Okay. So... We are now at Olympias, so I think I'm actually going to go into Olympias. Maybe we will find a tournament here, or at the very least, maybe I should go into the streets and speak to the Guildmaster. I'm actually just going to wait here for some time. Maybe a couple of bandits... Ooh, hello. Wait a minute. 
Maybe some bandits will pass by. Oh, it's the same guys. Okay, well, we were able to eliminate those those fellows pretty easily. So maybe it would make sense for us to do that. But you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to lose the farmers and the peasant women because they don't seem to level up. These guys, however, do have some decent gear and the others do not really. So I'm going to just lose those because I don't really, even if they are such a small amount of wage, don't I don't really want to pay them for the moment because I'd like to have enough space to be able to recruit some additional units. If they leveled up, it would be a different, it would be a completely different thing. Ooh, and we haven't leveled up in three levels. Okay, so... What am I going to be doing here? Well, obviously pathfinding is pretty useful. Leadership is great. Prisoner management, we already have 20 prisoners capacity with just one point in prisoner management, which is fantastic. I really love mods that do that as well. I think that's fantastic. So I guess what I'm gonna do is because I was complaining about athletics, we're probably gonna do two points in agility to get that to nine. And then I think we're probably going to do something like intelligence because I would like to get Pathfinding 4 because we're going to be having to run away from things and maybe that would be an idea. Foraging is also going to be pretty important for us too. But strength. I said I wanted to be a really good warrior. So, hmm. You know what? I'm going to stick with the warrior archetype and we're going to go to 15 strength at least before we go to any other stat going forward and I think that's probably going to make the biggest impact so we're going to level up iron flesh and we're going to level up athletics and what else what else are we going to level up well we could level up weapon master don't think it's particularly necessary we could level up foraging I don't think that's necessary either but mm, getting companions might not happen that soon so I'm going to go for two and foraging just to have a little bit of food production in the background so things that we you know don't have to really think about we can just have those pieces of food coming in and we don't have to worry about recruiting a companion speaking of companions let's actually go into the tavern because i haven't checked the tavern here for any uh, as a ransom broker i do have a prisoner so i suppose i will sell whoa they sell for 130 whoa okay Okay, that is actually opening my eyes quite a bit. That means I will be chasing these fellows. Yes. Okay. So technically, I don't have to start in this position. I don't have to start in Shield Wall, but it makes everything so much easier because you can just go into the battle immediately and then you already have your Shield Wall formation, which is pretty cool. But you can do that anytime. You know, you can do that anytime you want. You can just go into the complex formations orders menu and then you can just do it yourself if you want to but uh, obviously that's going to be more along the lines of having to modify your strategy or tactics or whatever Ooh, I have to be a bit careful here we're very close to the enemy and my forces are not okay this is maybe a little bit problematic gonna have to get my forces really close and I'm gonna be very very careful here my shield is awful so obviously I do not want to have anything go wrong with my attack hit. Whoa, nice. That was a nice hit. Okay, come on now. Yes. Another nice hit. More nice hits from Elias. Very good. Ooh. Oh, he took some damage. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, we're doing we're doing well. Are we? <laughs> Are we actually doing well? I think so. Yes, as long as we can cut off their retreat. That is all that matters. Ah, stab him. Yes, there we go. All right. So we basically completely murdered them in every single way, which is fantastic. And uh, now do I... Ah, I don't get to take any of them prisoner. That's unfortunate. Gonna just leave the farmers from now on. I'm not going to hire them. But we did actually get one of these guys, which is actually quite nice. I mean, they're not obviously as good as what you could potentially get, but they're, they're decent. So this is a tattered fur tunic. Ah, uh, it's covering up our abs. That's kind of uh, that's kind of a shame, isn't it? I mean, every single Spartan has to have his abs on display, don't you think? Oh well, never mind. I think I'm going to be using the body armor instead of the leg armor because, let's face it, the body is obviously the biggest hitbox that we're going to be having get you know having attacked. So obviously, you know, need to make sure that that doesn't take too much damage. And having five armor is just absolutely pitiful in the first place. So we should probably try and get a little bit better with that 
And it seems like most of my lower tier units have almost all leveled up into the next stage, which is relatively nice too. Anyway, I'm going to move on to the nearby Archean city-state. And I am going to say great apologies for uh, my pronunciation about these various names. I am really, really bad at pronouncing things, so hopefully you'll forgive me. Anyway. I'm going to go into the arena again because I would like to try and figure out where a tournament is and then I will run to the nearby town wherever it may be. So let me see if I can just do that. There we go. So Pella, uh, Knossus or Knossus. And then we have Apollino, Apollo, Apollonia. Ah, yes. Magnesia and Melassa. Okay, so... Mm. Oh, there's just so many. Okay, so... Uh, ah, Caledon. Caledon, I remember this. Caledon is very, very close by, and um, I think I think I might be able to go across. Yes, I can actually go across. That's fantastic. So we're going to go to Caledon, and we will participate in a tournament there, and then I will attempt, if I can, to build a uh, an enterprise of some kind. I think that's going to be pretty good. Okay, so it has just turned to night, so obviously the tournament is not currently going on. But hopefully I will be able to do it. Yes, there we go. We are going to be able to do it now. Do I have full HP though? Let me just make sure. Yes, I have full HP. I have leveled up. I should do okay here. But I'm, uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty worried about this kind of thing. So we'll see. Okay, I'm going to just go two-handed straight up. Just go two-handed and just kill. Okay, done. <laughs> oh, that was that was pretty quick, wasn't it? Yes. That was pretty quick. Okay, so let's let's be careful. I'm gonna just go two-handed for the for the most part. I, I'm probably not going to use my shield that much, dependent on if I'm actually up against someone that is using ranged weapons. I don't think the tournaments actually have ranged weapons included, so that's obviously a thing. Yes, took him down. Let's kill this guy as well, if I can. Yes, there we go. Okay, so that's done. Thank you. And two teams with three fighters each is the next round. Let's see if we can do it. I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm going to go for this guy. Going to go for a one versus one. Maybe I can do it. Oh, nice damage. He didn't block. Very surprising. I suppose he was wanting to very much focus on the... Uh, whoa, okay. Seems like I'm going to have to beat these guys all by myself. But, yeah, it seems like that guy wanted to focus on offense. And there you go. My uh, my strategy of going right when they're attempting to stab me is a pretty pretty decent one by the looks of things. So let's have a look at what we currently have left over here. Whoa, these guys are definitely someone that you need to be a bit careful of. Champion fighters as well, maybe. Four teams with two fighters. Wow, that's a, that's a pretty grand round to have, but... It is necessary. These tournaments are extremely necessary for me at the moment. Getting that amount of cash is really, really important. There we go. And I would like to be able to obviously get some kind of... I don't know, some kind of business empire going here. Because being able to have that as like a backup, you know, just in case something were to happen. Because even if I were to get myself absolutely murdered in every single way and lose everything, at least I would have some passive income that would actually enable me to continue continue playing. Because obviously we're, we're playing with realistic saving here, as you've no doubt seen with the auto-saving and everything. It is going to make the biggest difference. Alright, so this is the penultimate round, and it's time for me to strafe to the right. <laughs> <laughs> Strafing to the right, yes. That is apparently my secret. Absolutely. Alright, so this is the final round. I'm worried. But, thankfully, I think I should do okay. Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was also bad. Okay, my strafing tactic did not work, but thankfully I was able to do significant damage. And as a result, he is dead. There we go. Look at that. Over 8,000 just from that, and 20 Renown as well. Bear in mind that in this mod, Renown is king. You're going to be getting so much party capacity from Renown that it is just fantastic. So, let's have a look. I'm going to just sell most of the stuff here. 
Look at that. Even even the the uh, blandest of loot is giving me almost 900 dinars right here, which is pretty crazy in itself. All right, so let's go for some grapes. I'm just just gonna, just gonna try and increase the variety of food that I have as we go forward, and then kind of get into the habit of getting variety, you know, because eventually we're going to maybe have some problems with morale difficulties as our army grows. So we'll see what we can do with that. But otherwise, I'm just going to explore around here, see if I can maybe find some companions. All right, so I was actually just walking around this town, which is obviously Sparta, and I wanted to show you the environment. And uh, I actually wasn't planning on doing this initially, because I thought to myself, oh, you know, I mean, we've seen the environment before, but I just want you to really take in the enormity of how much work was involved in this. And as far as I'm aware, this mod was made by one person. Can you believe it? I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I don't think so. I don't think you can believe it. It's just crazy. Anyway, I'm hopefully going to be able to find the Guildmaster relatively soon. Obviously, it is a bit difficult to find them in such a grand landscape. Ah, th th this is the guy. This must be the guy right here. I'm sure. Yes, there he is. Fantastic. Okay, so I think I do have above 10,000. So I would like to buy a Weavery and Dye Works. There we go. 558. Is that good enough, though? Maybe uh, maybe we're going to get something else? Uh, no. Uh, yes, Iron Works is not that good. Oil Press is not that good either. Uh, yeah, Wine Press. I think a Weavery and Dye Works is probably going to be the thing. A tannery is okay. Not too bad, but yeah, seems like a Weavery and Dye Works is the way to go, and that's exactly what we'll do. There we go. So it is time for us to do a battle in a very dense forest indeed, and I am not entirely sure if... Uh, whoa, okay, the enemies are actually really close by. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm not entirely sure if the enemy is really knowing where we are, but apparently, well, they are already shooting at us, because they are that close. So let's see if we can move my forces a little bit closer here. And, uh, oh yeah, let me tell you, I don't believe we have fought these bands of units ever before, so we might have some difficulties. As you can see, these guys actually have decent shields. They're not actually using trash shields like I am at the moment. They're using shields similar to my actual units, my really good units. So I'm a bit worried here for a second. Not entirely sure if I'm going to be able to survive, <laughs> but I'm going to try my best. Ah! He's good. He's good at blocking, that's for sure. No, that was a mistake, sir. You should not have switched to your bow. That was a huge mistake. Okay, let's get my forces to come in here and attack the archer division. Well, whoever. Just attack whoever, please. I would appreciate it. Okay, let's just try and... Just try and uh, block as much as possible. And I'm just going to tell my forces just to charge. Just, just charge straight on in there and see what we can do. These fellows are much better than our own forces, as you can no doubt tell. And uh, that is problematic. Very problematic. Is that an enemy? That's not an enemy. That's one of mine. Of course. There we go. Take out that guy. Whoa, we are losing so many units right here. My spear broke. It can break? Oh dear. Okay, well that's problematic as well. <laughs> that is very, very bad indeed. Okay, well, uh, thankfully my uh, my good units are actually doing a fantastic job of eliminating the enemy. As you can no doubt see, they're very good. And I'm... Wow, okay. We just lost 22. And that's exactly the reason why... Whoa, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. And I mean, just imagine. Just imagine I didn't have these guys right now. Right? I would have lost this battle. 100% I would have lost this battle. No problem at all. So definitely something to take into account there. That the Periakov guys... They are certainly not to be trusted. <laughs> they are not to be trusted in the least. Alright, so we actually do get a bunch of... Ooh, there we go. We got six cavalry actually. That's pretty nice. Okay. I will take those. Yeah, so I was basically just waiting at Sparta for my Weaver and Die Works to be built. And then these guys ran by and I was like, oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do some damage to the to them and uh whoa. Okay. Well, I am very pleased. Thank you. Thank you for coming along and helping me. I very much appreciate it. 
and I am actually kind of a bit worried that my spear broke. So that's a thing. That's a thing in this mod, apparently, that your spear can break, and that is that is worrying. That makes me think that I should probably not get a bow as a secondary weapon, and instead I should probably have a maybe a, glad, a gladius or no, not not a gladius. That's is, isn't that Roman? Yeah, I think gladius is Roman. But whatever the whatever the case, I should get like a Zephos or something like that. You know, I don't know the actual pronunciation, so I do apologize for those of you that are very very proficient in. Uh, that era of history but the point is is that i want to get a blade of some kind yes i am basic so <laughs> a blade will definitely help me out so i'm gonna actually do that in just a second 566 dinars that's pretty nice and i'm gonna go back to sparta right quick and i can recruit some local soldiers i don't think i can recruit any at the moment and uh, the mod creator actually did give me a really nice hint which is in that pinned comment by the way the AOR places are where you probably want to recruit units from because they're usually very good units. So the next town over is definitely something we could go to. And we could recruit people from there. That might make sense. Let's do it. There we go. That's 2,000. Bear that in mind. So we now only have 800 dinars, which is not enough to pay our wages next week. However... I should be able to sell most of this stuff for a pretty considerable sum. As you can see, these shields alone are selling for 550, which is just crazy. So you can see, we already have 944. I have to actually go to a different vendor. And that hasn't happened in a long time. So, I could buy a horse? Uh, it all requires very high riding skill, which is probably not going to happen for me that soon. But this is the blade that I was talking about. Something like this, or that... Yeah, something like that. But it it's rusty. I don't really want a rusty one. Wow. One of these shields that I just picked up costs 9,000 to buy. Whoa. That's crazy. That is, that is really crazy. Okay, so I am not able to buy any of this stuff. I'd like to buy this. But it's so rusty. I guess I'll just buy the rusty one and we'll just sell the rest of my stuff to kind of negate the cost as much as possible. And yeah, there we go. Okay, so now I only have to pay 700 for a completely new blade. And that's really nice because obviously I was, well, kind of stuck in a ditch really if I hadn't had a spear on the ground relatively close by. Although, my forces actually did kind of carry the day as it is anyway, so don't really think I need to worry that much, but you never know. You never know. It's always good to have a backup weapon of some kind. Now, this guy, I'd like to recruit him. I'd like to recruit these guys, but you can easily get 20 really, really good units from the AOR areas, and you don't need to worry about them too much. Whoa, this guy's actually leveled up already. They have multiple level ups? Wow. Okay. I... I don't even know what, what kind of stats these guys... Whoa, okay. <laughs> well, okay, so yeah, that is kind of amazing. And I'm, I'm talking about very amazing because they have 73 HP, 89 flesh, 7 in power strike, amazing shield, athletics, and their proficiencies don't even get me started. That's crazy. And they have another level up on top of this. On top of this. Can you imagine? Wow, okay, so what are these guys actually like? Wow, they're, they're still... Wow, they're really good. They are really good. Okay, so we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well as it is. Another point in strength for me. And we're going to go for... Maybe some more inventory management, actually. I said that I was going to probably do something like that. So probably need some more inventory management. Let's go for some one-handed skill because I'm probably going to be using my blade relatively soon. We now have 70 units in our army and we have a maximum of 106 so it just sh it just shows how good renown is and i'm definitely going to be attempting to do something along those lines but what i would like to do is try and find a vassal of sparta and maybe become a mercenary for them because I think that that is also going to then pay us a little bit of cash. And as I am already building enterprises in their towns, it would probably make the most sense for me to 
well, ally myself with that particular faction. So we might try to do something like that. There is another very, very good band of units here. And, whoa, okay. They are actually attempting to take Argos at the moment. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I guess that's the reason why I can't find any vassals out on the world map. And these guys are way too fast for me, unfortunately. Oh, thankfully they turned around. Great. Okay. So let's just uh, let's just go go in. And it seems like we're always in the forest when we're fighting these guys. Well, hopefully we're not going to take too much damage this time around. Because let's face it, we took a lot of damage last time and it was very painful indeed. So thankfully the enemy is not actually starting super close to us. So we should be okay to move forward however we like. Obviously I do have cavalry in my party now, so that's a, a little bit... Mm, maybe a little bit janky for us because obviously look at look at how much mountainous terrain we have to deal with here huh it is actually not not particularly good and the enemy is not moving I suppose that is to be expected considering they are outnumbered by a pretty considerable amount but oh well and I, oh yeah, I have a new shield now. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, I'm really, really pleased about this because that means that I will not die instantly. And obviously I have a nice helm too. So that's also helping. Okay, cavalry. I know you're eager. You can just, you can just stay back. Thank you. Now bear in mind that most of my units do come with shields now. So we are not going to be as weak against skirmishing types as, such as these guys. Attack! Yes, take him down. Ah, oh, yes, I am absolutely terrible with one-handed spears. Oh, and my spear got broken as well. Oh, well, never mind. I guess I get to try out my new blade, which is going to be quite fun. If I can actually make it work, because, well, let's face it, I am not used to these kinds of weapons. And I'm doing no damage whatsoever. You know why I'm doing no damage? Because this weapon is a cutting weapon. And my spear is usually doing piercing damage. And piercing damage is obviously really much, much better. You know, I'm, I'm going to ask you. If you've played this mod before and you've played it extensively, do you think there are going to be any blunt weapons in the game? I don't think so, because that's probably not historically accurate or anything like that. But uh, I would very much appreciate, <laughs> and I'm talking about very much, a blunt weapon of some kind, because I absolutely love blunt weapons. I feel like they are my saving grace in many, many areas. But as it stands, <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to get used to using this. But it is... It's, it's not very good. I, I probably shouldn't have spent that money on it. But at least I have learned that now. Ooh, wait a minute. There's actually a person over here that I'd like to speak to. Hello there. I would like to speak to you in regards to me becoming a mercenary. You very buff looking man. So let's have a look. Um, yeah, no, I'd like to become a mercenary with you, if at all possible. Uh, are, you, are you sure you don't have any other tasks? Because you know, every time you do this, it, it sends a check to the AI and they check to see whether they actually have any other tasks. But it seems like he's probably not going to have any other tasks for me, unfortunately. I could join his army, but I don't really want to do that at the moment. I'm going to use that as kind of like a backup plan. And I guess I am going to have to wait for them to finish at Argos here, which is not exactly what I wanted to do. But, well, are they even going to do it? If they... Oh, no, no. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, yep. The enemy is now reinforcing their garrison with massive armies. Do you see that guy? Pericles. Pericles with 652 in his army. What a crazy amount. Okay, I'm a bit worried now about becoming a mercenary here because... Uh... Ah, there we go. <laughs> they actually do want me to become a mercenary now. I will join you. 
Three, whoa, 3,600. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, so now bear in mind, as a mercenary, I actually don't have to worry too much about taking things. I don't have to worry too much about participating in battles unless it is actually in my favor. I know that doesn't seem like the most honorable thing to do, but that's exactly what we're going to try to do because let's face it, if we're going to ally ourselves with the Spartans, then we are going to ally ourselves with the Spartans fully and we're not going to beat about the bush as it were. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.